Fáilte Chuig Rang Gaeilge, your go-to Irish grammar website. Today we're taking a look at Natermi Grammadi. All those little buzzwords of grammar that you'll need to know on your journey to becoming an Irish girl. First up is animal form, the nouns of the Irish language. In Irish, the animal are either masculine, for inch canuck, or feminine, on inch canuck. This is commonly referred to as the inch canuck, or gender of the noun. In some cases, you have to put a shavu on a word. This is when, for one reason or another, we have to put a H after the first letter of the word. But watch out, the shavu can only come after B, C, D, F, G, M, P, S or T. In other cases, you might have to put an uru on a word. This is when we place a specific letter before the first letter of a word. The letter combinations are as follows. We put an M before a B, a G before a C, an N before a D, BH before an F, an N before a G, a B before a P, a D before a T, and an N hyphen before a vowel. Some other useful grammar terms are breher, the verb of the Irish language, anambreher, the verbal noun of the Irish language, such as exhul, walking, dofbreher, the adverbs of the Irish language, such as gamal, slowly, adiuct, the adjectives of Irish, such as tanny, skinny, adiuchialvach, possessive adjectives, such as a, his, came in a comparaja. This is used to compare animal and uses the basic adjective, bun came, the comparative, brash came, and the superlative, sore came. Ray vocal simply are simply prepositions using one word, like air, on. Ray vocal cohitia are prepositions using two or more words together, such as iri, during. For an imparsenta are personal pronouns, like she, he. And Gaelga's special furanum ravocluck are a combination of a furanum and a ravocluck, such as air, on him. Agashine. If you haven't already, do check out www.rongwelga.com for a downloadable 10-point summary, activity questions and answers on this topic, and much, much more.